Let's see what the old tactical T-Rex is up to. Gotta get a nice pump for the camera, you know? Crossfit! Crossfit! Is that a crossfit move? A little bit of shot to it. I didn't go very far. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. About a year ago, we shot a 45 pound cast iron plate. It stopped quite a few pistol rounds, but didn't stop any rifle rounds. Well, today we have a 25 pound cast iron kettlebell and this thing is pretty darn thick i think it's got a pretty good chance at stopping just about anything we're going to shoot it with a 50 bmg but before we do that let's shoot it with a few other calibers okay we're going to start out with a 22 long rifle we have a 40 grain bullet and we're going to be using our ruger lcr 22 Let's go check it out. There's where we hit, and it doesn't look like it did very much at all to that kettlebell. Looks like it just chipped the paint a little bit. Now we're gonna hit it with a nine millimeter. We have 124 grain full metal jackets, and we're gonna be using a Glock Gen 4 Model 19. All right, again, nothing really happened to our kettlebell. <laughs> we have a hit right here, and there's not a whole lot of damage there. There's not even a dent. It just chipped the paint. Oh, this walking's getting old. Now let's hit it with the 45 ACP. We have some 230 grain full metal jackets, and we're gonna be using this Springfield Armory 1911 model A1. Man, this thing is pretty tough. <laughs> 22 long rifle, 9 millimeter, 45 ACP, still nothing, not even a dent, just chipping the paint. Let's step it up to something a little bigger. Okay, let's step it up to 44 Magnum. So we have some Underwood ammo. 44 Magnum, 340 grain hard cast plus P, and we're going to be using our Ruger Super Red Hawk 44 Magnum with a nine and a half inch barrel. Let's see if this leaves a mark. I think I just hit the top of it. Let me see. Yep. It's right there. <laughs> so we hit right there, and again, we didn't really do a whole lot to the kettlebell. Just chip the paint. So I brought a gun out that I haven't used in a while. This is a Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan. This is a 454 Casul with a two and a half inch barrel. <laughs> it's a little snappy, just a little. <laughs> and we have some Underwood ammo. These are 454 Casul, 360 grain hard cast. Dang, I hit it. <laughs> I'm a little surprised. <laughs> I think I hit the handle. I'm pretty sure I hit the handle. I'm gonna shoot it one more time. There we go, that's better. Let me go set this gun down real quick. So our first shot, we managed to hit our handle. <laughs> Second shot, we hit right here on the flat surface, right above the 25, and we finally put a dent in this thing. But we still didn't do much damage to it. One more than the 50 BMG. Last but not least, let's hit it with a 500 Magnum. So we're going to be using some Underwood ammo, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, 500 grain hard cast. And the firearm we're using is a Smith & Wesson 
500 Magnum Performance Center with a 10 and a half inch barrel. <laughs> I would say that's a miss. <laughs> Okay, I was aiming low that time. I'm gonna aim a little bit higher and see if we hit it. I think we hit it. <laughs> yep, we hit it. Just didn't do much to it. <laughs> okay, so again, here's where we hit with the 454 Casul, and here is where we hit with the 500 Magnum. We made a small dent, but again, we didn't do much damage to this thing. I think it's time we finally hit it with the 50 BMG. Okay, we backed up a little bit. I have the kettlebell kind of set at an angle and I put several cinder blocks around it just in case we have a ricochet. And we're gonna be using the Serbu RN50 and we'll be loaded up with a 50 BMG black tip armor piercing round. Let's go check it out. I hope we hit it because I only brought one of those. Oh yeah, we definitely hit it. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, looks like we've had some deer out here. See those hoof prints? Probably from all those salt blocks we shot. <laughs> okay, let's check this thing out. Wow, that is a big hole. <laughs> I can't believe it didn't shatter this thing. I figure since it was cast iron, it just would have broken to a bunch of pieces. Okay, so did it make it all the way through? What is your guess? It did not. <laughs> wow. Didn't come out the bottom either. Dang, that is awesome. So that means that bullet is down inside there. So I used the flashlight on my phone to look down inside that hole and the bullet is not in there. <laughs> so that means it came out of the kettlebell, but I don't know where it is. I've looked all over the place and I can't find it. I'm really surprised that the armor piercing round didn't go through the kettlebell. I flipped it around so we should be good for one more shot, but I can't decide. Should we use a full metal jacket with a steel core or use one of these solid brass rounds made by double tap ammunition? Decisions, decisions. I'm going with a brass round. That thing is pretty damaged. I bet it'll shatter this time. Let's see how we did. Oh man, check that out. I can't believe it didn't shatter. Looks like we hit the bottom right here and we took a pretty big chunk out and it painted brass all over that thing. That is awesome and our bullet is probably here in the dirt. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna find it. Okay, I think we're good for another shot. Okay, let's shoot it one last time, and this time we'll use a full metal jacket with a steel core. I think we may have finally broke it. Hit low again. Man, we broke a pretty big chunk off this time. So it looks like we hit right here and we broke a pretty good chunk off, but this thing still didn't shatter. Really want it to shatter. Mm, maybe we'll shoot it one more time. I'm gonna hit it one more time with a full metal jacket. Man, I do not think that we are gonna break this thing. We hit right here, it knocked a pretty good chunk out of it, but still did not break this thing. This thing is really tough. <laughs> so it turns out kettlebells are pretty tough. It only takes one 25 pound kettlebell to stop an armor piercing 50 BMG. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and give it a like and subscribe to the channel. 
you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit that little bell at the top. It's going to give you notifications when we upload new videos. Also, be sure to check out Kentucky Ballista's clothing and check us out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those are in the description down below, or you can find them on our website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you